Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome back to another Husky video. Today is all about bonding. See, I want to talk to you guys about five daily habits that you can do starting today that will allow you to build a better and stronger than ever bond with your dog, but specifically with your Husky. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to dive straight into this video. So the very first way on how you can actually build a better bond with your dog would be rewarding and repetition. So in order to build that really, really strong foundation of a connection with your dog, you have to make sure that you are rewarding them whenever they are displaying good behavior. Now, of course, you don't want to overly do it, but rewarding your dog whenever they are displaying the type of behavior that you're looking for will basically program them to keep doing the behavior that gets them the reward. Now, I know that Huskies have a reputation of being one of the hardest breeds to train. However, with repetition, consistency, and of course, lots and lots of rewards, you too can have a well-behaved dog and a dog that has a strong bond to you. Number two, going on adventures. So because of the fact that Huskies are very adventurous as it is, going out and exploring nature is a really good way to create bonds and connections with them. You get to see the behaviors in the wild, you get to gain quality time with them, and above all else, discovering new places, which for your Husky will less likely have them to want to run away and explore because they will be getting all the exercise that they need when they're with you which creates a stronger bond. What is it? Go get it. Number three. Is it under the thing? Okay, I'll go get it for you. Number three, hand feeding. So another way on how you can build a bond with them. I'm gonna get it. Why are you yelling? Why are you yelling at me? Okay, so Another way to build that bond, as I was stating earlier, is that you will have to hand feed them. Now, I know it may sound a little intimidating to do because you don't want to get bit if your dog is an aggressive eater. However, studies show that by hand feeding your dog, it reduces or desensitizes them from food aggression, which is what you as an owner want. You want to be able to take bowls away from your dog whenever you need to, or you want to be able to add something to the bowl if needed as well without them snapping at you. So a good way on how you can actually practice that is actually by taking a treat, like taking like the treats that your dog wants, and then you can actually put it in front of their nose and it will, they will actually try to just get the treat. And when you can do this by slowly opening up the hand, and they will get used to you hand feeding them. And this is how I actually train them, you know, not to bite me whenever I'm trying to give them food or hand feeding them. So I don't have to worry about it. They're, they're used to my hands and we have established a connection with each other because of that. So when you get used to it or when your dog gets comfortable with you hand feeding them treats, you can then go ahead and move forward with more higher value food items. I am able to now give them raw meaty bones and I can take it from them if need be. Even though I don't recommend doing so, I can do that because of the fact that they're used to me giving them stuff from my hands or taking it away. Okay, so number four is praising. Now, one of the best ways to deepen your relationship with them is by praising them as much as you can while they're doing the behaviors that you are looking for. See, no matter the breed, dogs want to make their owners happy. And what, and they're trying to do what you train them to do. Therefore, when you're training them, make sure you are getting excited with them, make sure you're praising them, and they'll continue to do that good behavior that you want. Go. And that's how you build a bond with that as well. 
All right, so the very last way on how you can actually increase your relationship with your husky is by cuddling with them. Now, some dogs may not like it and some people may not like cuddling with the dog. That is perfectly okay. However, if your dog doesn't mind you actually cuddling with them, then it can actually benefit both you and your dog. So for example, there was a study that was done where they found that cuddling with your dog not only helps with decreasing anxiety and stress levels, but also depression and loneliness as well. And that doesn't just go for us as humans, but it also goes for your dog. But that is gonna be all for today's video, guys. If you have learned something or if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go on ahead and subscribe if you're new, as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up onto this channel. Because we do post up videos quite often. We haven't been able to post for a little bit because of some situations that's been going on, but we definitely do have a bunch of videos coming up that you definitely do not want to miss. So if that's something that you're into, make sure you guys go on ahead and you hit that subscribe button for more Husky content. Now, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.